Hi guys! I know it's been a while since I've made a video and I am so very sorry for that. But I am back with another video and this is going to be a review video. Um, so I recently purchased the new Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, it was limited edition and it looks so beautiful on the website and on Instagram and on Facebook that I just had to get it for myself. Um, I created a look today using the Zodiac palette. I'm going to try and get as close as I can with my camera so that you guys can see. The uh, look came out exactly how I wanted it. I'm also wearing the highlight. And the look came out exactly the way I wanted it. Look, and it lasted all day. It's so beautiful. I really loved it. So, we are going to get right into this palette. So, let's start off with the packaging. This is the front of the palette right here. It is sort of a dark forest blue base green. Um, it has like a solar system around it of sorts. Um, it has a transition coloring with the lettering with the word zodiac and just BH in general. Um, it comes with 25 color eyeshadows and one highlighter. And then it has... Uh, lettering on the back and just a couple things on the back that it wants you to see. Um, it says add captivating dimension to your look with our versatile Zodiac 25 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette, a celestial spectrum of buttery mattes, iridescent shimmers, and a baked highlighter for an ethereal glow. Now this palette, like I said, was so beautiful online, but it is so much more beautiful in person. Now it's a large size palette. It looks large on the website, but it looks much larger when you get it in person. Like I said, it, it looks amazing online, but once you get it in person, mind blown. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So right at the top, you have a very large size mirror, which I like. Um, when you want to get up close and you want to get that dimension in and you can kind of see everything. I like how they have like a very large mirror. A lot of eyeshadow palettes don't have that big of a mirror in them. But this one has a very large size mirror, which I very, very much like. And then right here are the eyeshadow shades. Like I said, they look so much more beautiful in person. And the Zodiac palette is basically all of the celestial um stars in the sky pretty much all of the zodiac signs in the sky along with a matte shade to complement them and then also the baked highlighter in the middle so we have sagittarius scorpio libra virgo leo cancer gemini taurus aries pisces aquarius and capricorn and then, like I said, the matte shades around it and the highlighter. Now, these colors do swatch very beautifully. They feel very, very velvety smooth on the skin. They are amazing. Now, I will say that you do not have to always match the matte to its um, corresponding shimmer. I, You know, me, I'm a rule breaker of sorts. I will mix it up. I'm not going to stay one color to one, you know, one shade to one shade, even though I did do that today because I just wanted to create a simple look. I created a look using Pisces. I kind of stayed in my comfort zone because that's a look that I do create a lot with other um, eyeshadow palettes. So I stayed a little bit in my comfort zone today. So let's get into the basic review of this palette. So I will swatch some of the colors for you to let you see how beautifully it swatches. So um, I'm going to use the lighter side of my arm since the colors will show up better. So I'm going to swatch the colors that I used today. This is the brown matte shade. Pisces. And as you can see, these swatch so beautifully, super pigmented. They're just wonderful, wonderful shades. And then I'm going to swatch the highlighter. The highlighter is very pigmented, very blinding, just all around, just wonderful. The highlighter reminds me of an Urban Decay highlighter that I got in an Ipsy bag. 
um, a couple months back. Uh, that highlighter was very, very blinding. The highlighter in this BH palette is blinding, but I don't think it's super overpowerful. I, I don't think it's overpowering at all. Um, I will uh, say one thing about this palette. I have one critique. One thing that I didn't like about this palette is you will experience a lot of fallout. I got a lot of fallout with the shimmer shades. Now, if I just do this, I don't know if you saw it on camera, but some of the um, color pretty much flew off of my arm. Some of the flakes flew off my arm. So, like I said, that's the only thing that um, I kind of was like meh about with the palette. Other than that, the colors are beautiful. They go on very beautiful. Um, when I was doing the look today and I put on Pisces, I experienced the fallout. Now, normally with fallout, uh, in my experience, when I experience fallout, I just take a fan brush and sweep it off my face and the fallout's gone, right? No touch-ups needed. With this palette, with the fallout, when I swept it off my face, it didn't, you know, go away. It's sort of smeared. It, it's smeared across my face, so I had to touch it up with my beauty blender. I had to touch it up with some foundation and a little bit of, con uh, well, not really so much foundation, more so concealer. But I did have to touch it up nonetheless. So that is my only critique about the palette. If you buy the palette, you will enjoy it, but the only thing that you're going to have to deal with is fallout with the shimmer shades not so much the mattes and if you do have fallout with the mattes why well, I, I don't know if I have fallout with the brown matte shade or not because it's so close to my skin tone so I wouldn't be able to tell you or I just wasn't paying attention but I did see the fallout with Pisces because it is so shimmery and it is so pigmented you can clearly see it on your face so like I said, this palette is very beautiful. It's very well worth the money. Like, but that's the only critique. Like, I, I'm brushing the fallout off of my pants. My pants are black, so I can clearly see it. But like I said, that's the only critique that I have. Other than that, the palette itself is very, very beautiful. And it's very well worth the money. So if you love BH, if you like BH like I do, then go ahead and pick up this palette. I do recommend it. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to play with it some more and create more looks. And um, currently they are sold out, but you can get notified for when they have more in stock. And yeah, that's basically the palette as a whole. I very much enjoyed it. Um, the fallout was um, an issue, but not a deal breaker in my opinion. It was okay, it was there, but it was an easy fix, you know? Nothing, you know, too deal-breaking for me. It, it wasn't a deal-breaker in my opinion. I'm sorry, I like to keep the plastic film on my palettes um, for as long as I possibly can to protect them from uh, any colors mixing or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off my arm so I don't get it on my clothes. Oh, dear. That brown shade is, like, 